So today's video, we're gonna talk about our ideal sale plan. So this plan is designed so that we've got a large range of sale configurations to match all the different wind conditions. Here you can see our ideal full sale plan, which consists of 16 different configurations for varying wind conditions, ranging from five to 60 plus knots, making use of our three force days and three reefs on the main sail. The sail configurations are chosen to match the prevailing wind conditions. When sailing upwind, we aim to keep the centre of effort, the point where the force of the sails acts, balanced near the boat's centre of lateral resistance. This is typically close to the keel. This balance keeps the boat steady and responsive on the helm. When sailing downwind, we shift more sail area forward to move the centre of effort further ahead of the keel, improving directional stability and reducing the risk of broaching in stronger winds. We have a fixed backstay along with running backstays and check stays, and we'll have a system that allows us to adjust and disconnect the check stays from the running backstays as needed. Another important aspect of our sail plan is that the positions of the second and third reef in the mainsail are chosen with these stays in mind. We've chosen the position of the reef so that the mainsail will be free to tack without needing to slacken the running backstays when either the second or third reefs are taken. This setup will allow us to keep both sides tight in bad weather, providing additional support to the mast and making the boat easier to sail when short-handed. With three reefs in the mainsail, we'll be able to keep both the check stays and running back stays tight on either side. Like this in bad weather, because in the, when we arrive to the third reef and the second reef, we are in very bad weather, uh, on strong wind. Like this, you can keep uh, tight uh, both uh, running back stay in the both side of the boat, uh, can give a lot of uh, stability to the mast, uh, reduce the pumping of the mast, uh, and uh, you don't need to keep only one in tension, but you can keep uh, both. That's uh, give to us in low crew the opportunity to tack uh, easy without maneuver the sheet uh, of the running back stay, and think only about the sheet of the jib uh, or the middle stay or the baby stay sail. Regarding our three head sails, in light wind we can use all three together on a close reach or broad reach using a whisker pole as needed. The other thing in this plane of the sail the important is the form of the, the jib on the bow, the three stay, they can work all together in the same times. Because the base of the baby stay sail is very low, the one uh, to the middle stay is a little bit like a Yankee's more high. The bow one uh, uh, depend if we have a lot of range uh, of money. I prefer to have uh, two different sail, one a uh, uh, Yankee and uh, one uh, very low foot uh, uh, Genoa, che can be also one uh, good. Uh, say like a code zero if i have two choice uh, for limited uh, budget uh, i keep uh, the one design uh, case one genoa i already noticed we managed to, in the last year to use it the three stay all together over the past couple of years we found that we can use all three head cells together when sailing on a close reach when sailing close hauled or on a beam reach, the head sails can conflict and disturb each other's airflow, but on a close reach, the boat sails very stably and efficiently with all three set. Imagine that when you use it, uh, three jib, uh, they have a different trim. The, the head sail is the one more open, is the one that determines the tune of the other sail up to the main sail. Also because also the main sail go to stay more uh, tight of the normal. That's uh, for upwind, but also more important for downwind. In downwind, when you use a Jenaker, you start to go fast. The Jenaker have one trim open for bring the wind and tow the boat. But uh, the air she release, one Jenaker, one big Jenaker, is a lot. You can use it, the, the main sail completely open because uh, First, uh, stop the wind uh, to go on the Jenaker, but the most of the reason is because uh, the air come out from the interior to the Jenaker go to making turbulence uh, on, the, on the main sail. Because in reality, you go from one downwind, uh, the apparent uh, on the main sail uh, is more upwind. So the main sail is more tight and the jib more back.
in that situation, if you use it, uh, when we use it, the middle stay or the baby stay sale, the baby stay sale probably depend always how much you can slack because fortune you slack up to when they start to making turbulence, you pull him back a little bit, you find the perfect tune. But the, stay, the baby stay sale is the one that stay more tight, like upwind. It also is safe because if the boat turn around the wind, it gives to us uh, power for go down, for control the boat to go down. The middle one is again, it stay in one position that is not completely slack because go to making a turbulence on the genaker, but you tight up to when you see the genaker start to breathing perfectly and after you find the correct trim. Another nice thing about having three four stays is that in light winds, depending on the wind angle, we can potentially use all three head sails. And then as the wind increases, we can reduce them in seven different configurations. So we've got seven different configurations for our head sails, each sail on its own, all the sails all together, or the three combinations of pairs, which we can use in proportion to the wind speed, yeah. And the angle, downwind and upwind. Yes because also in downwind we can move the center of the sail more forward and have a more smith square of sail on the bow for rapport to what there is in the main sail. Mm -hmm. In upwind we need to have one perfect balance for report the center of the sail on the center of the keel, have one boat go straight by itself. Mm -hmm. Like this there is a maximum speed because there is a less utilization of rudder and the boat sailing perfectly. Mm -hmm. While we haven't detailed Jenica's or Code Zero's here, either the middle or baby stale could also be used alongside them. Look what arrived for us in the post yesterday. New headsets from Hollyland. Thank you, Hollyland. We've been working together with Hollyland for, uh, I guess, nearly two years now. And um, as you might remember, the headsets that we've been using in the past and our, all our microphones are from Hollyland. And now they've upgraded their headsets. And this is the latest model. It was out maybe a week ago. And now we go to unpack it. No way. Sometimes it happens something very nice. Holy Land, always, always with us. Yeah. Thank you, Holy Land. You are the best. And now I'm online. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? So with these headsets we can communicate with each other from the bow of the boat, from inside the chain locker, the cockpit, the dinghy, up the mast and maybe even on the shore. They are dust and water resistant so we can use them even if it's raining. We've used them every single time we've dropped and hoisted our anchor, anchor for the last year or so and they've been so so helpful. They prevented many arguments um, and um, screaming from the bow and the cockpit and everywhere else. So thank you, Hollyland. We used them up the mast, didn't we, when you went up there? Oh, these headsets made a huge difference. Normally we're like screaming at each other when we do this. Yeah, they. Cool, but this was good. Coming really handy. Yeah. Talking the normal, <laughs> normal voice. It's very helpful with MB. Yeah. It's one boat uh, where you are inside. There is no hatch uh, to to do one job. Uh, if, uh, sometimes I'm inside, I scream a uh, hundred times, uh, please, one screwdriver, please, please, do you read me? Do you read? Ken! Please! With this one, uh, we, we work uh, many times, and it's so easy, I don't have to scream. It's also something uh, very professional. He still screams, and then I get it in my ears. Mm. <laughs> So this headset is called Solidcom SE Pro. They have a 400 meter transmission range, dual mic noise cancellation, and support up to nine users. They ensure clear conversation in any environment. They have a 10 hour battery life, USB-C connectivity for seamless charging, making it ideal for dynamic settings like video production and outdoor activities, dust and water resistant. They are ready to go when you are. Thank you, because we often have a big crew. We often have someone on the helm, yeah. someone in the chain locker, someone on the bow, maybe yeah. even someone by the engine room doing the gears. It's amazing. Thank yeah, you so thank much, you. Uh, Only Land. <laughs> you are the best partner for Sailing MV. To make our sail plan a reality, we're looking for companies that would like to see their logo visible on our sail during our videos and future sailing events and regattas around the world. 
If you're interested or know someone that might be, please contact us at sailingnv at gmail.com. If you'd like to support us on Patreon or with a one-off donation on our coffee website or via PayPal, I've put the links in the description. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, we'd really appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button, like, comment, share it with your friends, and don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes.